Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foil Fox. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be coloring this adorable bear by Concord and Knight. It is a stamp and die set called Hi There Bear. And where you can see you can use different sentiments and I'm gonna change it up a bit so he's holding a sign. But first I'll show you we were gonna use a frame die, anyone knew you like, then the die for the bear, and then here's the stamp set. I'm going to be just using the outline of the bear and then the background because we're gonna do uh, coloring it with Copic markers, but you can see that there's all the uh, layering um, stamps for just using ink and doing that will take care of all the shading for you. So using one piece of Nina cardstock, this is 110 pound, and then um, taking half of it for the card base, and then a quarter of it uh, for a panel, the front panel, and the front panel is just a little bit smaller than the card base. I trimmed it down, and then what's left over, we're going to make the background for the bear, and then also color the bear. So using a seedless preserve, milled lavender, and tattered rose, I'm taking those distress inks and then just kind of swiping them across in thirds. I am using a stamping platform because I want to stamp this several times. So you can use a Misty or any kind of platform that you have that will give, be an aid for you. But I'm doing it because I want to keep um, stamping until I get the desired effect. And please excuse this weird angle this is at. I'm doing this so that um, you can see the detail but not have to catch the terrible glare from my lights. So I'm just, uh, I did it twice with the thirds with the um, seedless preserve and the milled lavender and the tattered rose. And then now I'm just going to use um, milled lavender and tattered rose. So I'm going to put milled lavender over all of it and then the tattered rose over the top third. I'm doing this to kind of tone down the purple, but also the dark purple, the seedless seedless preserve but I'm also it does help kind of smooth it out and slightly alter the colors so that they blend really nice together and I'm going to keep stamping this until I get um, the saturation that I'm looking for again I am only using the at this point the la milled lavender and the tattered rose and now um, uh, it still has a little bit of a model look, but I actually like that and I know that when it dries It's going to be a little bit lighter and it's also going to those inkers inks are going to smooth out So I cut out that die. I'm sorry. I cut out that background of the bear and so I set that aside and now I'm taking this little piece of paper that's left over and I'm stamping the bear with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is Copic friendly. And I'm taking his little bit of a paw because we're going to use that later to help him hold the sign. And I'm just stamping just a tiny bit of his paw. Now with him all stamped, I'm going to start coloring him. I'm only using six colors of Copic markers. Um, I'm starting with this one, which is a C0, and then I'm going to go to the warm colors, and I'm going to be using W1 as the lightest, W3, and then W5 as the darkest. So I'm, I'm using, putting the W1 over most all of it. You can see that I've left the cap lid there, so you can see which one I'm using at the time. And now I'm using the W5, and I'm going to outline those areas that um, I want to have the most shadow. First, I'm just going to do the basics to begin with, and then I'll kind of extend it down on his body and up towards the bottom because I want him to look like he has a fat, round tummy. And then I'll be using the W3s and the W1 to kind of smooth out the areas, blend in the inks, making it lighter with the W1 where I need to. I'm gonna leave the muzzle pretty much with the grays, but um, meaning like the C0 or the C1, but I am going to be using a um, one of the uh, W warm grays 
around the edge of the bottom part of his muzzle so that he can um, have a little shadow. And then I use the R01 there inside his ears to give a little pink and then smooth it out with some W1. So you know you can go back and forth forever with your um, shading. And I can do this forever, it seems. But uh, at some point after I finish the, the little detail, more, a little more detail to his face, I'm just going to call it done. make his tummy just a little lighter and then we're going to go to that little bit of paw and just color that in again with the darker on the around the perimeter and then kind of uh, blending that out we're only going to be using a tiny bit of that paw so um, only the very end to help hold the sign with that done, I'm going to use the die and cut out the bear, and then I'm fussy cut out the little bit of paw. Didn't occur to me until now that I could have used the die and actually cut out the paw, and that may have might have been better just positioning and cutting out that little bit, but uh, I managed to fussy cut it, and then I'm going to trim it back um, so that it actually becomes nearly just a circle because I only want it to be this little bit that's holding the sign and I don't want to obscure the outline of his um, which is basically his leg but I like to call it his arm um, because I want to maintain that make that just a tiny bit smaller and you can see I'm making it rounder and I'm cutting off those little sharp corners and then there we go um, I'm going to uh, set that aside with after this one little trim and that's where I'm trimming off just those little sharp edges and then I'll go on to making the sign the sign I um, I think this is um, mulberry heavy cardstock I cut a one inch by three quarter piece kind of adhering it with that washi tape to hold it in place put some anti-static powder because we're going to be stamping it with miss you this is from my favorite things um, stamp set I think it's all about you if I'm right and it is actually is I miss you and I don't like to do surgery very much to my stamps because I never seem to get them back the way they're supposed to so I took a little piece of post-it note and I covered over the eye, inked it up, and then peeled it off and then stamped it. That effective, effectively masked off the eye so it didn't show. And then using that little washi tape as a little handle, I'm just using some white embossing powder. And I'm going to take a little tiny brush and I'm going to just brush off any of those errant pieces of embossing powder because uh, I always seem to get embossing powder where I don't need it. So holding it with a tweezer is helpful and with this little tiny brush and then I'm going to heat emboss this And with that done, I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm just going to draw by hand just a border around it just so that it defines the sign. You can, of course, use a ruler. I'm not very successful at a ruler, so I find that this little short distance I can do better just hand drawing it. So I'm taking um, that front panel and adhering it to the card base. And then I'm going to take this, um, the background for the bear, and I'm putting some uh, white fun foam behind it so that I can pop that up. You could use, um, of course, foam tape if you'd like, foam squares. And then I'm going to adhere that. And then with that done, I'm going to take the little bear, put some foam tape on the back of him so he's popped up. And the great thing is you know exactly where he goes because he fits in that little outline. 
Isn't he looking adorable? And then we're gonna take some glue and with his little tiny paw, and I'm gonna put that in position along with the sign. So it looks like he's holding his sign. And then the final thing I'm going to do is take some twine and I'm going, oh, sorry, not quite. I'm going to take a black pen and darken his eyes and his nose. And then with some irresistible Pico embellisher, which is clear, I'm going to just um, dab a little on his nose and eyes to make them um, look glossy and have a tiny bit of a dimension. You, of course, could use glossy accents here. I'm not as adept at glossy accents, so I really like uh, that Pico embellisher. And then now with the twine, a um, piece of twine, I'm gonna wrap it around twice. I'm actually going to do battle with this twine because it doesn't wanna cooperate with me. But um, I'm gonna wrap it around and then twice and then put tie a bow in the corner there. It's always a struggle. I hate showing this on uh, camera because it shows that I just really struggle with this. But in the end, I finally uh, prevail and uh, am able to uh, tie this bow. And now that that bow is all done, straighten out the little um, remaining strands. And there we go. Now you see I made um, earlier one that says hello. This one has the background of um, candied apple, picked raspberry, and spun sugar. And uh, um, you can see where this would work with any sentiment, thanks, or any of the sentiment you would like to. You can make a whole set for them. I think they're simply adorable and great for anybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell your friends. And also ring the bell so that you're notified for the next video. Thanks again. Check over to our blog. There is a complete supply list there. The link's down below. And lots more inspiration. See you next time.